Famous for a look at Canada's ski jumping team. Do we have a video? I guess not. I was, I was, here we go. We, let's show you this video. Here we go. Take a look at this. That is Canadian National Ski Jumping Champion, Stefan Reed, and he has the talent to be an Olympic medalist, but underfunding for his sport restricts his, restricts his chances until a new sponsor comes along. She jumped in with a special recipe for success. Joining me now is Ski Jumping Canada's new title sponsor, Leslie Stowe. Of course, she's the chef, the cookbook author, the inventor of Raincoat's Crisps, which I love. <laughs> and uh, we've got, along with her, Stefan Reed and Katie Willis, members of the uh, women's national ski jumping team and men's. Uh, it's great to have you here. Yeah, great awesome. to be here. Oh my gosh, uh, congratulations first of all. Thank you. Um, and you know, and when I see you jump, it's so, like I've seen ski jumping before, but now that I've met somebody who actually does it, I know it's you there, and I'm just like, oh my god. I'm only used to doing that on the Wii. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing it anymore. I did that for the first time the other day. Yeah, how, how'd you find it on the Wii? Terrible. <laughs> you just couldn't do it. You couldn't do it no. on the Wii. I'm on like 100 meters total. <laughs> I'll give you some tips later. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, what are you cooking for us today, Barbara? So right? today, so we've, there's been lots of discussion about how the athletes eat, and today we're cooking up some really delicious, easy recipes. We're doing some spicy Chiang Mai green beans. Sounds more complicated than it is. It's very easy. Yeah. And apparently, Katie's been making it ever since I first showed her how to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're making a lemon caper uh, chicken, which Stefan's now mastered the zesting of that. It took and some time. The, the zester. The, the thing that's uh, with with uh, with healthy food is you want to keep it interesting. And I know they don't have a break at all. They have to eat healthy all the time. Unlike you know most young people that like slide in and out of it. Yeah. And so you have to make the food really great to taste. What do you got in there? And so we've got some fish sauce in here, some chili, some sambal, um, a little bit of garlic, some olive oil, and then we're going to throw in these green beans to make them spicy. Oh, the nice. other thing that's great about um, spicy food, it really helps your metabolism, so it speeds up, so we want their metabolism to really be I didn't like, know that. Yes. So it means I can so, eat more of it. Yes, if you go out for Thai, <laughs> <laughs> you eat more, it's going to help your system. So, Listen, tell me about uh, you know, coming on as, um, you know, as a, a financial champion, as it were. Well, we were sort of, uh, being from Vancouver, we thought we've got the Olympics coming up, and how can we get involved? And you've been enjoying so much success lately, to and, your credit. And we uh, thought, okay, we want, we're a young, kind of uh, progressive company that's trying to grow, and the ski jumpers are in the same sort of situation. And uh, the community's been very supportive, and we wanted to do something that was Canadian, just not in our local community. Yeah. So uh, we went to watch the ski jumping in the Callahan Valley and said, oh my god, this is like unbelievable. Like, how yeah. can anybody be doing this? And my husband said, well, they need help, Leslie. They need funding. So that's. You went, so I'll go for it. It went from there. Yeah. So then tell me about your uncle. That's a, that's just coincidence. I didn't know this. It turns out to be your hero as well, I think. Yeah, I mean he's <laughs> Ken Reed. Yeah, he's in the same situation we were. Yeah. When he was in the top, so. Yeah, I mean, and what does he tell you about that? I mean, you know, his, he, 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 he just this is what you got to do. You got to go out. You got to seek financial help. Uh, no, not so much that. Just tells me more uh, some points about what you know helps me out with the sport a little bit. Um, yeah, he's got some good advice because I mean he's gone through it all already. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess an Olympics is something that may or may not happen with you guys. We'll see. It's ongoing, huh? Yeah, the lawsuit's on this week, and, you know, we're really crossing our fingers, hoping for a good result. <laughs> well, regardless, I mean, you're very, very good at your sport. I mean, there's a huge future in it, isn't there? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, you got to. You got to. So Leslie, um, tell me what you're throwing on the chicken. So now. this is the uh, capers and raisins and uh, a little bit of lemon zest. And just to finish the garnishing up, this is what we were talking about before and using the zester. And we've got, you know what, we're going to, we go, but we've got the recipe on our website, so we're going to put it on there and in the meantime. And look how delicious this is. Look how delicious this it is. It just looks delicious. Everyone we'll taste it after, not trust just, me. This is not just for athletes, it's for all of us. Thank you, Leslie, and thank you very much for the Great. support of the teams. Thank you. You guys, we're going to be talking to you both, I think, very a lot perhaps over the upcoming years, certainly <laughs> in less than a year's time. It's great to talk to you both. Yeah, man. Yeah, thanks. Great to see you. Coming Great up next, from computer geek to rock star, 